interesting. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, why don't you take me upstairs and I'll show you. Actually, I'm kind of tired of being in the hotel room, so I was thinking that maybe we could go out. Go out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk cafe? Signore, did you mean to leave your magazine behind? What would you say to the sidewalk cafe? I would like it if we could just be alone. Yeah, but they have finger cookies at the sidewalk cafe. And a side order of gawking tourists. Yeah, we could just blend in and hide in the corner. Right, like we always blend in. Like in that uh, trottery in Venice, where we almost oh, got stampeded for autographs. Oh, my favorite skirt. I remember yeah, tying up that tiny little fight, bathroom window with you. Paparazzi. And you lost. Hey. Well, you did. You lost. Okay, all right. Point is, is that we can't control our environment when we're out in public. Room service. Have room service. Oh, room service. Actually, I'm gonna keep the magazine. Uh, but I'm, I'm done here, so if you want the table. Must you run off? Uh, y yeah. Do you have any other suggestions? Well, we could keep each other company. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to pick you up. <laughs> Maybe 20 years ago, even 10. I'd be flattered and agreeable. Flirt. I just thought since I'm dining alone and the lady you are waiting for has yet to make an appearance, we could, uh, oh, how you say, uh, pool our resources. How do you know I'm waiting for someone? I have eyes. So have you. And yours are glued to a entrance of a moonlit garden in Rome. Why else but a particularly haunting woman? What do you... Is the lady you cannot forget, see? Are you a psychic or something? <laughs> Experienced. Huh. Bellissima. That's what I said the first time I met her. She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mm. Love at first sight, huh? Mm. I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but it was a powerful pull, like nothing that I've ever felt before. And I knew she, you know, she could never really be mine. You still feel that way? Well, Brenda invested a lot in me, and she deserved more and better than she got back, but she was very tenacious. <laughs> she would not give you up so easy. Yeah. She loved me, and uh, that was it. She wasn't going anywhere. We tried, we failed, we tried. But I, Brenda and I, we could never just get it right. And we could never quite let go. Yay! We made it home safe and sound. Until next time, we have to venture out into the dreaded public. We need to have a conversation. Wow, okay, that sounds very serious. I might need fortification. Do you want to try one of my pears? No, I don't want to try one of I think you do. I think you want one of my organic please? pears that I got at the open air market today. They are incredible. Yeah, I know. You went all the way to the Piazza San Casimato. Yeah. How'd you know that? Suzanne called me. She's worried about you, and with good reason, because there's some bad guys oh, who want to bring harm to you, I'm and sorry. you can't pay attention to that? <laughs> I'm sorry, what do you mean Suzanne called you? Why is Suzanne calling you and talking to you about my personal whereabouts? I mean, she's some girl I work with. Suzanne is looking life. out for you. And that's a good thing, because you apparently can't seem to be bothered by that. Brenda, if you're not careful, you're going to get yourself killed. This is the woman we're looking for. My life was in a, a totally different place. Change is the only constant. I'd love to tell you that I've changed, but I'm not sure about that. But circumstances, uh, you know, in my life have a lot. Back then, you know, I was working up the ladder in, in business and I was trying to establish myself. 
and I met this this kid. His name was Stone. He lived on the street. And something about him touched me, you know. And uh, I took him in, brought him home, dusted him off. <laughs> And I just, I, I, I tried to give him a fighting chance in life. He disappointed you? No, he died of AIDS. And at that time, you know, they didn't have a, a, such a thing as a, a drug protocol. If you had AIDS, you just died. You know? And Brenda tried to do everything she could, but there's not much, at that time, there's not much she could do. You know? Did the boy's death bring you and Brenda closer? I don't know. There was other circumstances that got in the way. I, like I said, I was, tr I was trying to establish myself, and I was acquiring a lot of power. But I, I, I ran into complications, dangerous ones, and I had to make compromises. And I had to marry another woman to get rid of the complications. <laughs> and did they? For a minute, and then, you know, other ones followed, right? <laughs> They usually do. Your marriage ended things with Brenda, yes? From how you describe her, I cannot imagine Brenda in the role of mistress. No, she, she, didn't, she didn't like it, but you know what? She'd have done it. She told me herself, but I didn't want her to. I mean, she begged me, and I refused. And I turned her away. Why? Because I, I, I thought that she deserved better. And it should, she should go out on her own, you know, and figure things out, away from me. I am impressed by your nobility. Not many men would deny themselves the woman they loved. And it's clear you love Brenda with every breath you took. Perhaps you still do. Hmm? You know, I, I think it's really interesting and crazy that Suzanne is putting my personal whereabouts out into the world without letting me know but that that's that's actually beside the point I truly don't need you to come running to rescue me from anything as if I am some kitten who is stuck in a tree well first of all I didn't come running I made a little stop to have an argument with my director he didn't want me to leave but I insisted what are you talking about? You walked off set? Why is it so hard for you to believe that I care for you? It doesn't matter. I don't need you to take care of me. Yeah, well, when you won't acknowledge the fact that something's wrong, maybe you do. Someone almost slashed your face. I know. You've been warned by the Interpol, for God's sake. I sakes, know! That your life is in danger. Okay, but yet... You continue to skip merrily along buying fruit. Skip merrily along? You know what? You're actually starting to make me angry right now. So well, let's just stop having this Well, then be angry with me in England no, no. where I have my security guys with me. Let's not have this conversation, okay? Because there is one thing I need you to never do to me. Don't ever treat me like I am some girl who sits around and gets a mani-pedi every day. I have a real purpose in my life. And it certainly isn't to sit around and wait for some man to take care of me. Why are you saying this to me? Why me? I'm not that guy you're supposed to be angry at. I'm this guy who loves you now. And I want to keep you alive so that you can make good on your promise and marry me. I will take whatever flack you got for me, for anything that I have done. But I am not going to take responsibility for all the guys who came before me. I have been over for years. Two separate lives. I've, I've had other women, you know. I've, I got four beautiful children. And yet, you still think of Brenda. I'm kind of in a, a crisis right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, your thoughts turn to the road not taken. I just... Where you'd be if you had made another choice. I just want to see Brenda. I just want to see her. She doesn't, look, no words. She doesn't have to even know I'm there. To what end? Uh, well, I, I know she smiles for a living, but I, I know her. I know her heart. If I just see her, I'll know if she's all right, if she's happy. Brenda's happiness means a great deal to you. In my book, that 
is amore. <laughs> I have enjoyed spending time with you, but I, I, I must go. My son will worry. Can I take you somewhere? Uh, no, no, I, I have a car around the corner. You don't have I to worry, I'll, I'll take care of it. But do you want... Uh, Thank I'll, you, I'll, you I'll, are I'll, very kind. I have some to drive you safely. No, you're kind. Okay. Signore, let me leave you with this to consider. True love is a rarity in this world. To have it, lose it, and then come face to face with it again. It would be a crime to let it slip away without one word of protest. The threat is real, Brenda. So they should bring it on already, then. You did not just say that. Yes, I did. There's a threat. There's a threat. Who cares? There's a threat everywhere. We could leave the house and get hit by a bus. I, I could fall off a pair of my high heels and get hit in the head. I mean, who cares? Is this any reason for us to never go out again? OK, you're being petulant and self-absorbed. How much help uh, are you going to be to the exploited uh, children if you're dead because you made it too easy for a goon to kill you because you just are hanging out there? I guess I could probably care less about the children or any of that because I'm so self-absorbed, right? I'm self-absorbed. I'm self-absorbed. I mean, really, yeah, what is it that you really think of me? Why don't you just say it, that I'm some kind of princess? Is that what you're really saying? That you think I'm some 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 kind of no, princess? I, I don't think. I actually I operate in the real world, Murphy Sinclair. I don't get to say cut, you know, and get another take. This is me. This is me. Here I am, Murphy. This is the real me. If you don't like me exactly the way I am, then there's the door, and you should just go ahead and use it. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to use the door. Good. Thank you. Good choice. under consideration. You might be happy if you did. Buona fortuna. Take care. You too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 